And here in the sixth row lades open at the Dick Weber lanes, it's the championship match. Earl Anthony has won two in a row and now goes against the tournament leader from Buffalo, New York, 26-year-old Tom Baker. Anthony defeating Mark Roth, 227 to 182 with seven strikes. In the previous game, he defeated Paul Moser, 254 to 191. Moser defeated Lasco in the first game, 192 to 171. And this is for $16,000. Earl Anthony miked today, and it's a four pin on the left lane. Through the shot. Pulled up on that shot and just did not get the extension. Well, I was down in the approach uh, setting up your valuable tip, Bo. I asked him about his back, and he said, no, it wasn't a spasm. He didn't know what it was. Since uh, having a little back problem, he's rolled 16 strikes so, and two wins. Now Tom Baker, 5'8", 150 pounds, one PBA title, the Northern California Open. Off at the five, and here's what Baker had to say about his one-game strategy. Uh, no, I don't think there's a different strategy today. I feel that the guy winning the previous match has an advantage because he's got the feel of the lanes. And then in a one-game match, the quicks can go for you or against you real quick. Okay. Tom Baker, who is eighth on the money list this year, having won 11,650. Off to a good start. And covers the five. Tom Baker, one of the most consistent players on the PBA Tour, and you can tell with that ideal style he has. He's very rhythmic, and he doesn't try to overpower the lanes. He plays well within himself. His hobby is hockey. Not only watching it, but playing it. Tom Baker of Buffalo. And we are live from Florissant, Missouri, a suburb of St. Louis. can learn from Tom and with a strike in the second Anthony will be shooting in the second with a spare up some speed on it now. come on Here's Bob Temme with the glasses on in the right corner co-owner of the lanes with Dick Weber break get a break yeah Anthony first strike second frame one of the reasons Earl Anthony is so consistent and probably the most accurate bowler on the Pro Bowlers Tour is his steady head. Now watch how he never moves that head all the way. The arm's moving, the body's moving. Look at that head, never moves. He doesn't even feather his, his hair, it's so smooth. Earl Anthony with 20 consecutive balls in a one-two pocket. Let's do it right. Good speed. Seven. Watch this pin on the left side of your screen, the four flying around the seven. That's the solid seven. When we call it a weak hit is when the pin lays down in the channel. That being for the left-hander would have been the four pin laying in the channel. When it flies around, it's a solid hit. Not much you can do about it. Come on now, cover your spares. <laughs> oh boy, all right. Very interesting. That's advice he gives to himself and also to average bowlers. So how quickly he knew the result. He let the ball go, and he said, that a boy. Now Baker using the full approach on the right lane. He has a strike up. Chance to go ahead. No, the bucket on the right lane. Tommy Baker, really a nice style. Smooth push away, locked arm swing. Shoulders level. Watch how his balance is so smooth. His shoulders right over his hips, right over his knees. Arm walk close to his body and a good long follow through. 
Tommy just overplayed the lane a little bit. He, this is the first week we've bowled on lacquer this year, and the players are used to a little sharper break at the back end. And the young man who finished third in the Miller High Life Classic in Anaheim, California, our first show this year, shows you how to cover the bucket. Once again, you can see the ball going down and in. Five, first five weeks, we bowled a urethane finish. Dick Weber prefers the lacquer finish. Both of them are good. Match is all even. Fourth frame. Strike in the fourth for Baker in a very tight championship match. We're going to take a break and then return to Florissant, Missouri. Dick Weber Lanes after this. Back again, Dick Weber Lanes. The man in the striped shirt is the holder of 32 PBA titles. Earl Anthony has won two games already. Now he's in the <laughs> final match. And despite uh, some sort of injury to his on, back, the left side, he's bowling well, spare up, shooting in the fourth. The deft touch of Earl Anthony. Watch this smooth, rhythmic arm swing. Watch as the ball comes right by his right foot, right next to his ankle. You can see the trajectory just inside the second arrow, solid in the pocket. Hard to improve on a shot like that. Match all even after four frames. And thus far here in our live coverage from Florissant, Missouri, he has stroked 19 strikes. Another seven. We saw the solid seven in the third frame. As we said, the four pin flew around the seven. That is what we call the weak seven or the weak hit. The ball did not finish as sharply as it did in the third frame, and the four pin lays in the channel. Often you'll catch that hit, but it's not very dependable. Both players going spare strike, spare strike. Come on, make a spare. <laughs> Great advice for all of us. He keeps talking about make that spare. Be careful. A lot of average bowlers uh, don't follow that advice. Chris, it's a great concentration Earl has. And when you don't have open frames, you're never down on yourself. You're always in the match. Tommy Baker likes to fiddle with those holes to get just the right feel in the bowling ball. Can take the lead with a double here. Sliding by, leaving the 2-8. Once again, he expected the right-hand lane to break a little sharper, and it didn't, the 2-8. Let's replay it. He doesn't catch it all, the ball sliding by out about the 10th board. Now he wants that sharp break. Doesn't come up, gets a good break with a head pin. Watch you go to the sideboard and take out the 4, 7, and the 5. Needs to convert the 2-8 to keep the match all even. as a bowling for 16,000. The winner, the runner-up, will get nine. Coming up next, WBA World Featherweight Championship.